What the hell is Saw Sports or whatever that last call was talking about? What the hell is that? Guys, are so from Free Love, man. In Houston, we've seen our share of championship titles from basketball with the Comets and the Houston Rockets to soccer with the Houston Dynamo and in, even in baseball with the Houston Astros, whether or not you want to throw an asterisk on that or not. But what if I told you that Houston also has had quite the amount of success in hockey? And this is really what this video is all about. This video, we will be talking about the Houston Arrows going all the way back to the beginning of their roots in the 1970s to the 90s and then obviously to their eventual downfall. Um, so this is going to be a little bit something different than what we normally do here on Saw Sports. Um, I guess a documentary type video and if you really do like this please like the video obviously subscribe to Saw Sports TV so you guys can get that content on the other teams here in H-Town um, and if you really like this this type of video um, go in the comment section and and tell me of a of another Houston team that you would love to see kind of similar like to this as well um, it has to be something a little bit like that eventually led to a downfall I guess but if you really do like this make sure you guys let me know and in the comment section as well I'm gonna have I'm gonna ask you guys a question and there was a lot of people that were actually uh, in in one of the li in the last live stream that we had that there were some people that were actually very intrigued in the idea of having a hockey team back in Houston so my question is to you if there was to be a hockey team brought into Houston would you want to be a fan of that hockey team would you try to learn about hockey and all that um, and also would you be more excited if it was the Houston Arrows or would you not mind it being rebranded as something else so that will be my question to you in the comment section but without further ado man let's get going with this I guess documentary so before I can talk about the Houston Arrows, I have to talk about the World Hockey Association. Now the World Hockey Association was established in 1971 and ended in 1979. This was one of the few, I guess, more successful competitors to the NHL. And obviously if you guys know hockey, the NHL is the major league here in, in, I was about to say, he's in the US and in Canada. Um, and so this was actually a league that was competing with the NHL and did very well as they were able to even get players from the NHL to co-play for the WHA. Um, so it was a it was a big thing that this league was actually doing fairly well. Now there was 12 teams. These aren't the or original. Well, I guess you would say the original teams though. But the initial teams, some of them backed out. Some of them uh, rebranded themselves because of someone backing out because they liked their their name more than they liked their current name. Um, so these were the uh, the 12 teams that started in 19. 72 which was their inaugural season so it was the new england whalers the cleveland crusaders the philadelphia blazers <laughs> nice the ottawa nationals the quebec nordics the new york raiders the winnipeg jets the la sharks the minnesota fighting saints okay um the alberta oilers the chicago cougars and of course the houston arrows now, fun fact about the Houston Arrows. They originally weren't supposed to be in Houston. The team that was supposed to be the Arrows was the Dayton Arrows. Now, some of you guys are probably confused as to why, how the Dayton Arrows would make sense. Well, the WHA was actually looking to pay homage to the Wright brothers. But the problem was that the city of Dayton wasn't really sure if they could actually support a hockey team um, going from the fact that they didn't think they had a venue that would be good for them um, and that kind of made them back out of the of the deal and so when they were looking at options they saw Houston as a very good suitor for this and with it them being called the arrows it made sense in Houston because it's the space city and so that kind of just worked out for the team um, and obviously they played in the summit or the compact center or i guess for people that don't know lakewood church um but the thing i gotta say about the houston arrows they were actually a really good team and one of the big things that a lot of 
I guess not many people know about is that this team had Gordon Howe, uh, Howie, or I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it's Howie, uh, Gordon Howie, and he was a legend in the game of hockey. This guy was called Mr. Hockey. So, I mean, if you have that nickname, you better be pretty damn good at, at, at a sport. And he actually came out of retirement to play for the Houston Arrows because he wanted to play with his sons. His two sons were in the Houston Arrows and he wanted to play with them. And, and so this was one of the, the first time that you ever saw a father and son uh, team playing in, in hockey, at least. Um, obviously, we've seen it in baseball with the Griffies and all that. But this was the first time in hockey that you saw that. And the Houston Arrows were actually a really good team. They won four division titles straight, back to back, from 74 all the way to 77. Those division titles belong to Houston. And as well, they won two AFCO trophies. The AFCO trophy is pretty much their championship trophy, their version of the Stanley Cup. And the Arrows won that back-to-back -back in 74 and 75. Now, they did make it for a third straight appearance in 76, but ended up losing that one. But like I said, man, this team was actually really good. And it's kind of crazy to think what ends up happening as as eventually the WHA has to you know fall out, and this comes up with the merger. So in uh, 1978, they're kind of talking with the NHL about merging the leagues or at least giving them some of their more successful franchises and bring them over to the NHL. And um, they were in discussions with it. So the WHA proposed to have six teams go to the NHL. The Houston Arrows were one of those teams. NHL didn't want six teams, so they were able to agree on four teams. But then the WHA decided to throw out that three of those four teams had to be Canadian. Um, and I'll even I'll go a little bit deeper on that part as well. But yeah, so the three teams that were automatically in because they were Canadian were the Edmonton Oilers, the Winnipeg Jets, and the Quebec Nordics, leaving one spot for an American team. And those were between the New England Whalers and the Houston Arrows. Now, you know, obviously it would make sense to have a successful team go in and play and represent, you know, the WHA for the NHL. But there was a lot of debate between them. And the deciding factor was actually the owner of the Boston Bruins when the Houston uh, Arrows owner ends up trying to talk him into voting for the Arrows. The thing was, is that the owner of the Boston Bruins was not all about having these guys come into the league anyways, but then he said if they were to bring a team in, he would prefer someone in his area. So guess what? The New England Weathers end up going into the NHL and the Arrows are done. That's it. That was the end of the 70s for the Houston Arrows. So... I was kind of interested to see what happened to those teams that ended up getting chosen over the the Houston Arrows. And so we'll talk about it. So of all the teams, the Edmonton Oilers are the only ones that are still intact in the NHL. And I'll, I'll explain about Winnipeg a little bit right now. But what happened to the other teams? So the Quebec Nordics, they went to Denver, became the Colorado Avalanche. The Winnipeg Jets actually moved to Phoenix, Arizona to become the Arizona Coyotes. Now, I know that the Winnipeg Jets are now in the NHL, but that was because they moved the Atlanta Thrashers over to Winnipeg and rebranded them as the Winnipeg Jets. And the team that ended up going uh, instead of the Houston Arrows, the New England Whalers, they went ahead and moved to North Carolina to become the Carolina Hurricanes. So it's kind of a slap to the face that, like, Three of the four teams that were picked over the Houston Arrows didn't even stay in their city. They actually ended up relocating. And funny enough, the two Cana the two of the three Canadian teams ended up moving to the United States to begin with anyways. So that is just kind of a little bit of the 70s. Now, the Arrows do eventually do come back, and we will get to that right now. Alright, so let me just paint the picture of the year... 1994 and that was the rebirth of the Houston Arrows so I'm gonna actually mention what league, the first league because they were in two leagues in this era and that was the International Hockey League which was established in 1945 and ended in 2001 and I'll explain what happened in 2001 but this was an alternate to the AHL so this wasn't a competitor to the NHL or anything like that this is, if anything, it was more of a competitor to the AHL these were two farm leagues um, so obviously most of these teams had an affiliation to an NHL team. Now, the thing is about the Arrows 
versus this arrows the arrows from the 70s didn't have the bomber look i think people are more familiar with that look from the arrows but the arrows from the 70s actually wore uh, like a baby blue and white jersey white and baby blue jersey a little, also a little darker blue hint and it was just arrows it just had the name arrows kind of just put vertically across their jersey this arrows team was the bomber jerseys the jerseys that i think a lot of people are more familiar with so in 1994 they brought it back the houston arrows as an expansion team this was the second team in the ihl to pay homage to a wha team the other one being the phoenix roadrunners now the thing that was really interesting though is that in the short amount of time they only played seven seasons in the ihl and in that period of time they made the playoffs six out of seven times they were a really good team kind of going back to those those days in the wha um they won one regular season title from 1998 to 1999 won a division title in 1998 to 1999 and won one turner cup which was obviously the championship trophy for the ihl in the year you guessed it 1998 to 1999 so they did really good in the ihl were able to always stay in discussion for the playoffs obviously this is kind of kind of crazy to think that this team eventually falls apart so this, this is kind of where you're kind of confused about it but 2001 happens and the problem is that the ihl cannot financially support this league anymore and you know obviously fall apart but the ahl ends up bringing in six of those teams from the ihl and the houston arrows were one of them those other five teams were the chicago wolves the grand rapids griffins the utah grizzlies the Wilmock, the wolf woof the milwaukee admirals sorry about that and the manitoba moose these hockey names man it's just it's just it's just i don't know these hockey names but anyways so fun fact about these six teams as soon as they brought came in they actually made the calder cup seven times four of them winning the calder cup and obviously the houston arrows is one of them and so let's talk about the success in the ahl for the arrows so the arrows played 12 seasons in the ahl and were in the playoffs 10 of 10 of those times one of them you might throw a little asher because they lost in the prelim but i guess the ahl considers that as a as a playoff game um i guess similar to a wild card game if you will but it also in their success they were able to win a division title in 2002 and 2000 to, to, to 2003 my bad two conference titles from 2002 to 2003 and 2010 to 2011 and then of course won the calder cup in 2002 and 2003 and they lost in the calder cup of 2010 2011 um but they were a really good team obviously making the postseason 10 out of their 12 times they were they also were always above 10th place in attendance in the ahl so what exactly happened to the houston arrows well so for those who didn't know, the Houston Arrows were the farm team for the Minnesota Wild. So obviously majority of the ownership belongs to Minnesota. So the thing was, the lease was up for the Houston Arrows in Toyota Center at the time. And so Minnesota was trying to make a deal, a lease agreement with the, with Toyota Center, but they just weren't able to come into terms. And because of that, effectively, they went ahead and relocated the Houston Arrows to Des Moines, Iowa for the 2013-2014 season and ended up rebranding the team as the Iowa Wild. So this was just crazy to think that a team that was always able to stay in the playoff discussion was always, uh, you know, contending for titles, won well over in their whole lifespan won four championships and then in the in their mo most recent period ended up coming away with two championships. Um, and once again, stayed in the playoff discussion. It's just crazy to think that because of a lease of a problem with a lease agreement, that the Houston Arrows were no more and moved to Des Moines, Iowa, to be rebranded and to never be heard of again. But that's really what happened to the Houston Arrows, and that's just kind of way to end this thing in in, in a very high, I guess, fashion, if you will. But that is the story of the Houston Arrows. So that is the story of the Houston Arrows. If you guys liked it, please make sure you guys like this video. Also, subscribe to Soft Sports TV if you haven't. Um, 
you know we're trying to throw in content as much as we can right now for y'all and um if you guys like this documentary type videos um i know this was just kind of a trial just to see uh i guess what kind of traction we would get from doing this but um if you guys like this you know make sure you guys uh let us know and who would you if we were to do another one of these who would you think would be the right team uh to mention now I got one in my head that I'm pretty sure everyone's going to say. And I'm sure as I'm saying this right now, as Hancho is editing this video as we speak right now, um, I'm sure he's even thinking of it too. And I actually will implore that Hancho does that documentary um, because, you know, we need more Hancho in Sauce Sports TV. But aside from that, man, kind of going back to my question from the beginning of the video, which is if Houston were to bring a hockey team to the city if Tillman Fertitta somehow does it would you want would you embrace the team or would you prefer it to be the Houston Arrows so I guess that's the question for me would you want them to be the Houston Arrows or would you just be happy that Houston has a hockey team and if so just throw out your your concept what would you want that team name to be for the Houston whatever hockey team is going to be called but uh, aside from that, man, make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you subscribe. Share these videos, man. Make, if there's somebody you know that loves the other teams here in H-Town, like the Astros, the Rockets, the Dynamo, um, anything in the in the Houston spectrum, make sure you share this, share this content to them so they know that there is a channel that's talking about the other teams in H-Town. So with all that being said, man, chunking up a deuce. Y'all stay saucy. Perfect.